Ford police officer will be sentenced for murder in September. A jury found James Ashby guilty of second degree murder in the 2014 death of Jack Hawkes. Jurors deliberated for more than 10 hours between today and yesterday. Ashby's lawyers say they will appeal the ruling within 30 days. Sentencing is scheduled for September 23rd in Otero County Court. Now, this tragedy has rocked the small town of Rocky Ford and the community's relationship with police. New at 10, KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen spoke with Rocky Ford's police chief about the verdict and what changes he's made since the shooting. She's alive in the studio tonight. Emily. Bart, the police chief tells me that it has taken a long time to rebuild the community's trust. And for Hawkes' family, this decision today was a long time coming. Weathered notes and faded flowers. Testaments to a loved one gone too long. Former Rocky Ford police officer James Ashby left in handcuffs. A jury says he murdered Jack Hawkins at his mom's home in October of 2014. This is not a win for anyone. This is a tragedy. It's been a tragedy for our community and it continues to be a tragedy. For Hawkins' family, this decision brings relief and peace. I'm very pleased with the decision. I think it was a fair decision. Um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm still shocked um, because I was, you know, thinking the worst but praying for the best. What happened to Jack Hawk has inside this home not only had a big impact on this community, it also changed the future of the Rocky Ford Police Department. Mickey Bethel became chief after the shooting. At that point, trust was gone. We recognize that. Uh, and certainly uh, all of our officers saw that. So they redid their mission statement. Our duties with dedication and uncompromising honesty and integrity. Launched community events and wear body cameras so people can see what happens. They've also changed who they hire. I'm just going to be real honest. We have, uh, we have changed our hiring standards and we've increased them. Um, and uh, I think that for, for the future of our police department, for the future of this community, I think that's a good thing. Now the community's faith is coming back. And as far as the jury's decision? We uh, both respect and um, accept the, uh, the verdict. Um, and then uh, and we move on. We go forward uh, with our mission. Justice for Jack. It's been his family's message since his death. Now they have justice. But they'll never get back the thing they want the most. Ashby. Ashby faces up to 48 years in prison when he is going to be, he could face up to 48 years in prison when he's sentenced in September. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen, Cardio, News Channel 13.